Yo, what is going on guys? This is Roger from OTR Gamer TV and in this video we're going to be talking about the cars that are coming to GTA 5 Casino DLC. Now, as you guys know, the whole base theme of the casino is a luxury, high-end, high-priced, you know, money. Like, it just speaks money. Everything about it is money. So, the name of the actual DLC is called Diamond and Resort um, DLC. So, that says it all, guys. Luxury, high-end cars are going to be expected. Now, I can tell you for sure, for sure, I'm 99.9% that the Bugatti Devo, which is a real life car based uh, with a price tag of about 5 million in real life, will be coming to the game. Now with GTA 5, you know how they do guys, they mix up the car's names and they mix them up and to, to make them in there. So for those of you that don't know, the car that I'm driving right now is the Bugatti Chiron. The Bugatti Chiron is, is in the game called the Nero Custom, it's based off of course the Bugatti Chiron. They also have the Veyron in the game as well, which is called the Ada. Which when it came out was the most expensive car of a million dollars and now this one that came out is almost two million now i know this for sure guys that the devo is coming out because number one it is the most expensive of bugatti and apparently you know how bugatti do guys they always claim that they have the fastest car road car on the track anyway so this car in my opinion in the game is going to have a price tag of about three to four million base price with the upgrades pushing it to about four to four and a half million now why i say that is because the most expensive car in the game right now is the Pagasi tesseract which has a price tag of about 2.8 million almost hitting three million and after upgrades about three and a half million easy right now these new cars are going to be expensive why because gta 5 this is a big dlc this is this is the dlc where they're trying to focus on you know making more money more short cards selling you know how gta 5 is still making money online guys red dead redemption didn't do what it was supposed to do but the devo so this so this devo is going to be highly priced car for people to spend money and actually buy short cards now obviously not everyone's going to do that people have modded accounts people are grinding on the heist glitching you name it money is to be made but they know that rocks are not stupid they know that they want you to spend your hard-earned money so they're going to be pricing these cars expensive. Now, if you want to drive around in a Devo, I'm here. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be between three and a half to four million base price, meaning off legendary motors or even a Benny's vehicle. And after customization, you're going to be hitting about 4.5 to 4.8 million, easy, easily. It's the Devo, guys. It's the biggest. It's the biggest thing, you know what I mean, on the streets right now. You know, if you got a Devo, if you have any Bugatti, technically you're rich. It's like Mayweather money. But that's the first car on the list and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this car is coming. So be ready for the Devo. When you see it, don't say I'm wrong, all right? The Devo's coming. And the second car that I believe is gonna be coming out for sure is gonna be the Rolls-Royce Coolinan. For those of you that don't know what the Rolls-Royce is, it's a luxury car. Again, the base of the whole DLC theme is luxury. And the Coolinan is an SUV luxury. It's like the, how they came out with the Urus and they call it the Tourist, the Lamborghini. Now, why I believe that this car is coming out again, I'm 90% sure that this car is coming out because of the theme of the casino. And not only that, they already have Rolls Royces in this game. They have almost every Rolls Royce that's on the road in the game. So, for those of you who don't know what the name of Rolls Royce is in this game, it's called Enos. Enos is, has a mixture of either the Bentleys or the Rolls Royces. Now, I'm going to show you the names of the Rolls Royces. So, the Super Diamond, as you can see on the screen, is the same as the Rolls Royce Phantom. Again, these are old cars from the old GTAs. Then they came out with the newer one. So they came out with the Windsor, which is basically the Rolls Royce Wraith. And then they came out with the Rolls, uh, uh, Windsor Drop, which is the Rolls Royce Dawn. So they have the Dawn, the Wraith, the Phantom, and they have the old school Rolls Royce. I think I'm missing a Rolls Royce, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that's every single Rolls Royce so far. Now, all they need to do is, um, the Coolinan is the newest Rolls Royce. So you know they're gonna come out with um, new cars. Now why I believe is, if you don't know, this is a fun fact guys, that the people, the creators of Midnight Club, which was a racing game made by Rockstar, are also developers on GTA 5, watch that, once Midnight Club stopped. So the car guys, guys, so car guys know what's new, so they, they, they have their own research team, they know what cars are new, they know what cars are famous, and they know what cars people actually want, right? So you've got the Bugatti Devo, that's 100% coming, I'm telling you that now, for sure it's coming, it's going to be pricey, it's not going to look exactly like a Devo, but you're gonna know from this car like i'm in right now the shade one that i'm driving right now again 
this is called the Nero Custom but you can clearly see this is a Bugatti Chiron easily and uh, same as the uh, the Veyron which was the um, Adder you easily you'll be able to see, be able to see that the um, Rolls Royces will look exactly like the Chiron I mean sorry the the Coolinan and another opinion this game this Rolls Royce had already been out in the game previously in GTA 4 the uh, gay, uh, gay Tony DLC that came out in uh, GTA 4 Ballads of Gay Tony that's it a guy called Yusuf I'm showing you the cutscene right now came in a gold Rolls Royce phantom drop uh, basically in the game will be called a super super diamond drop it was beautiful like legit guys the car is amazing just look at this like this Rolls Royce can easily be put into the game. I mean, easily. Like, it takes two seconds for them to drag it from the GTA 4, code it into GTA 5, and drop it. Again, they will add, they will make it new. They will mix it up with the new types of headlights of the Rolls Royces, add new features to it, and drop it in. Now, the price tag of the Rolls Royces is always cheaper. Like, if you guys can see the price tags of the Rolls Royce, the Super Diamond comes in at 250,000. Obviously, this is the beginning of the game. Which is basically based off the Phantom. The Windsor and the Windsor drop are around 800 to 900,000. So they're not really expensive, you know. And the old school one, they obviously upped the price to about a million. Why? Just because people have money and it's a new car, so they're going to spend money. Now, I'm not saying the Rolls Royce is going to be the, you know, that cheap. It's just going to be the cheapest out of the lot. Why? Because not everybody wants to drive around a luxury car. You know, you, you want your speed. But I'm assuming the price tag of these Rolls Royce are going to come in easily at about 2 million base price so you're gonna get the cooling out for about two million and the uh, super diamond drop which i'm not really sure is coming to the game will be about you know it's an older version of the car but it can always you know drop the numbers and put it on about 1.8 million and then once it's customized you're hitting about 2.5 to 2.6 million on both cars again i don't know if it'll be a benny's um uh, a benny's update because let's be honest the interior of the Rolls Royce is beautiful and not many cars that have come out have been able to be customized through Benny's so I'm assuming most of these cars are going to be legendary unless the casino comes out with its own garage which I highly doubt so be ready Rolls Royce is coming soon the uh, Rolls Royce uh, Coolinan and the Phantom drop top which is already in a, a GTA file so they can just drag it now the next car that um, is basically speculation now you guys already know they have not got a Lamborghini Aventador in the game they have every Lamborghini you could think of except for or well not every single but except for the Aventador now most people might argue with me and say no no what about the Zentorno no no the Zentorno is not an Aventador guys the Zentorno in my opinion is either based off a of Veneno or another car which most of my subscribers know the name of the car but I always forget it because there's so many types of Lamborghini. So in my opinion, there is no Aventador in the game. They have a Hurricane, which is the Tempesta. They have a Gallardo, which uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's about 240,000. It's in the game as well. And then they have um, the Zentorno. And now they have the Urus, which is basically the Tourist. The Urus is the SUV version of the Lamborghini. They have that too. So the only car that is really missing out of the uh, Lamborghinis is the Aventador. Now there's three types of Aventadors. The Aventador S, the original obviously, the SVJ and the uh, SV so it's you know it's about it's a possibility that it's coming I'm not saying it's for sure but just look at it just imagine guys I'm, I'm most of these footage are from modded um, PC accounts so but just just imagine these types of cars in the game now you guys know how Rockstar do guys they mix and match the cars they make the front and the back look close to the cars but they mix them up so obviously no copyright law like no one's gonna say oh my god you copy my vehicle you know we're gonna try and sue you like the like the share one that i'm in right now you can clearly see this is a share one from everything every angle but they make it their own version they mix and match it you know they take bits and bobs to give you the illusion that yeah this is the car that you're looking at but really and truly to get away with the um copyright they don't do it now with the aventador sv price tag of the aventador sv obviously is a higher end price car so i'm, I'm going to tell you the real life price of the aventador is coming in at about 271 thousand one hundred forty six pound which is about four to five hundred thousand right so that's not cheap but obviously you know how GTA do this is a, a very pricey DLC so I'm assuming any hypercar that comes in now will be easily over two million you know hitting hitting the three million numbers so the Bugatti I'm clear is gonna be over three million hitting four million even five million with the uh, Rolls Royces hitting about two million and if there is a new Lamborghini, just be sure there's going to be a new hypercars in this game. 
I'm assuming the price tag of that is going to be about two to three million or two and a half million, maybe even more. But Aventuro, I'm I'm 50-50 on it, but there is no Aventuro in the game, so be ready. These are car guys. Remember, car guys are working on this game. It's coming. The whole base of the theme is a luxury and expensive DLC right now. So be ready, guys. Like legit, be ready. Um, the next car to come in, the next car that I'm going to be talking about is the Ferrari. The Ferrari in the game is basically based off the Grotti. Now you've got loads of Ferraris in this game. Loads of Ferraris, guys. So the amount of Grotti that are in the game, you've got classics, you've got new ones. You've got the um, Beastia, which is based off the F12 or the F-Type. You've got the new one that came out, the Grotti GTO, which is based off the super fast 812. Again, it's a mixture of combination of cars, but we can kind of tell that it's based off the 812. And uh, the only car that the GTA has not come out with yet, the only uh, car, the only Ferrari, sorry, that GTA has not come out with yet is the V458 and the 488. I don't know why, but this could be possibly another car that's going to be dropped. Now, again, with the Ferraris, I'm assuming it's all assumption right now. But with the with the Devo, it's a guarantee, and with the Rolls Royce, it's highly likely they're going to drop those cars. But with the Ferrari, again, they'll be looking at newer cars. You know, they got a LaFerrari, which they call the Turismo R. But you know how Rockstar do. They can just turn around and say, you know what? We're going to bring out the LaFerrari anyway. Why? Because it's not in the game. So that, they're going to be focusing on that as well. And uh, it's going to be a mixture. Again, the 458 and the 48 could be a mixture with other cars as well to make it look like the 458, 48. Or like a hybrid of all, all two, um, both cars. So that, again, would be a hefty price of about 2 to 3 million again. With customization, you're gonna look all easily over three million, easily over three million for those. So with my guarantee is the Devo's coming for sure. The Chevron is like following after that 98%. The SV I want in my opinion, I want it to be in there. It's not in the game, so 50/50. With the Ferrari, they haven't got. They have loads of Ferraris in the game, but they haven't come out with a 458 or the 488 again. Speculation, so I'm gonna give that another 50-50% chance of coming through. Now, with these two following cars, it's almost another guarantee that they're coming through. So, with the McLaren, now we're moving on to McLarens. They have the T20, which is based off the McLaren P1 or the McLaren 12C, and it looks good, it looks pretty much decent towards it. And then they also have the F1, which is basically the uh, Proto GT in the game, which is based off the literally legit based off the F1, it's just a copy of it. Now they need to if they're gonna come out with a new Bugatti they're gonna have to come out with a new McLaren why hypercars are always challenging each other and the main ones are Bugatti, Bugatti McLaren Porsche and Koenigsegg which I'm gonna be talking about soon as well so McLaren Senna is on the screen right now guys it's a beast of a car with a retail price of about 700 thousand pounds which in america is about 1.2 million real life price but this is gta 5 guys they don't give a shit about real life price they're gonna give you a, a crazy amount of uh, price now obviously i think this car along with the kernings which i'm gonna talk about in a second is gonna easily come just slightly under the bugatti so like i said the bugatti is gonna be hitting about 4 million because the cheapest car in the game the sorry the most expensive car in the game at the moment is a devour about 2.8 million now they're gonna try push the figure to about 3.2 to 3.4 to 3.5 million for the Devo, which allows room for these new supercars to come in just under it. So the Koenigs that could be hitting 3 million to 3.3 million, and then the McLaren Senna will be anywhere between 2.9, which may make it, in essence, the newest, cheapest hypers car, well, the most expensive but lowest priced hypers car, which will be 2.9 million. But again, with upgrades, you're easily looking at about 3.4 million to 3.5 million, which would obviously make the Devo the most expensive car because with the upgrade, you're close to 5 million in the game. So McLaren Senna would obviously not just look like a Senna, guys. It'll be a mixture of different types of McLaren that are out right now, and it'll make it look like a hybrid. But clearly, when you see it, it'll be looking like a McLaren Senna. And then, of course, I mentioned it, the Koenigsegg. Now, there's two Koenigseggs in this game already. I'm going to show you right now. So, the car that I'm in right now in GTA 5 is called the Entity XF, which is based off the Koenigsegg Agera R, or close to it. And um, this car came out when the game basically came out, and it was 750k. And it gave the Adar, which is the Bugatti Veyron, a good one for its money. Now, obviously, when the game updates, they bought out the Sheyron, and they also bought out the entity xxf the newer version of this i'm gonna show you a picture of that now now as you can see can you see the pattern that i'm talking about now guys they came out with the adder and the xf then they came out with the shame one which is the nero custom and then the entity xxf 
Now, if they're bringing out a new Bugatti, which I'm telling you they will, like it's 100% the Devo's coming out. If you don't believe me, just watch and wait and see. You'll see, oh my God, you know what? He was right, blah, blah, blah. With the Devo's coming out, you have to believe that the Koenigsegg Regera R, or I don't believe it's going to be the Regera, or the newest one, which is called the Koenigsegg Jesko, that is coming out alongside the Bugatti. Why? These two are always head to head in real life, so they're also head to head in the game as well. Now, the, Bugatti, uh, the Koenigsegg Jesko, in my opinion, is going to be the second most expensive car after the Devo. Again, hitting close to 5 million, not base price. The base price, again, I'm thinking it's going to be about. If the Bugatti Devo is going to be about 3.4 to 3.5 million, the Koenigsegg is going to be just under it, slightly under it by 100 grand less or 100 grand. Yeah, 100 and 200 grand less, in my opinion. So 3.2, 3.3 million. Again, not with customization. Once you customize the car, you already know, guys. You know, body kits and, in, and performance wise and rims. You don't even know, like, these body kits are becoming ridiculous. The spoilers are taking, like, 20, 30, 40 grand. Rims are 40 grand. So, imagine these new upgrades that they're going to be coming out with. Especially with this Casino DLT. They're trying to rinse all these modded accounts and trying to make you buy more shark cards. Because Red Dead Redemption didn't do as well as they say it did. Or didn't pop up as good as it did. I mean, there's still people playing that game. But, these cards are going to be pretty much expensive. The most expensive cards in the game easily will be the Devo. And then slightly less expensive would be the Koenigsegg and then following that would be the uh, McLaren now those are my top five list of cars that I believe are going to be in I think I did more than five but so the Devo the Rolls Royce Coolinan the uh, Phantom drop top which they're going to be calling it the Super Diamond drop which was already in the game but again they can easily just slide that in there but I'm not sure about if that's coming through the Ferrari and the Lambo are speculation but they, you know they're going to be coming out with new Ferraris and Lambos. But those are my opinion of those ones that are coming out. And then the Koenigsegg and the McLaren Senna are almost another certainty. I know the Koenigsegg will be 99.9% .9 common as well. Why? Because every time, every time they've dropped a Bugatti in the game, aka Adar, they've dropped a entity following it. So those two are for sure. The Rolls Royce is for sure. The other are speculation. Any news I get, and if you think you know cars, that are coming up or that you think or would be coming up don't be afraid to drop it in the comment section below remember those are just these are just five guesses i'm doing i could guess some more you know what i mean I, i'm pretty sure they're gonna drop in some more bentleys they're gonna drop in some more hypercars some more supercars bunch of cars man coupes sedans but these are the main ones that i wanted to cover the most expensive ones anyway ferraris lambos koenigseggs bugattis rolls races now the ones that haven't made it to the list or that I don't that I believe are going to be coming are also going to be a few Jaguars, new Range Rovers, uh, new Bentleys because they haven't put on a new Bentley for a time, um, Mercedes which is called a manufacturer in the game, which they need to put out uh, they need to pull out more um, Mercedes S classes or even a mixture like of a Mercedes Maybach that ain't out yet, uh, Porsches which is the Profista in the game that's going to be coming out. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to think of what else uh, luxury type of cars that we're talking about. I think I said Jaguars already. But yeah, guys, this is literally my informed version of the cars that are coming out. Rough price tags as well, but the closest price tags you're, you're probably going to see in the game when it comes out. I don't think they're going to be many cars. They are going to be legendary motorsports cars. But any news that I get, guys, keep it locked on this channel. We are a car. We are a car-based channel. We like car games, we like cars, we do car meets on GTA 5 every Tuesdays and the weekends. So once this DLC comes out and you're a good driver and you want to chill, be it by all means, feel free to join us. Like, share, comment, subscribe guys. Any news on this DLC regarding cars, money, anything, we'll try and update you with it. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think is going to be coming out. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe and notification bell guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next GTA 5 car meet video. Peace.